What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. So, I want to do one more test. Um, I don't know, man. Something, Something's wrong here. I was looking into it. According to the wiki, it should be way, way stronger. Um, I, I checked on the Discord. Some folks said that, you know, the wiki is outdated and my asthma is still pretty good, but, you know, the strength is the distance of it. But, you know, even, even then, so... Miracles. So, all right, if I go to the wiki and actually compare these two, and given this might be outdated, but regardless, um, Creeping Rot is 20% uh, more damage to minions. <clears throat> it damages enemies caught for 0.5% plus 50. And that's scaling damage twice a second uh, for the duration of content and for seven seconds after leaving the afflicted area. So the cloud lasts for eight seconds. So at a minimum, you're looking at, at 15 seconds of dot damage, which is a lot. My asthma, though, is supposed to be a flat 60 plus 8% over uh, one second instead of every half second for 10 seconds so in theory based on on those values like it should do a lot more than it is um so we're gonna go back to yorm yorm is a big boy this gives me a nice big target and we're just we're gonna see you know i don't i don't know i feel like something maybe something was off with the thing i was fighting i also picked up uh, more homeward bones uh spent my estus flask and what else did i do oh i put an upgrade point into that and one into this so those are coming along, but anyway, let's try out my asthma. The other thing I heard is supposedly the range of this is like insane. Yeah, so it's like filled the entire room and it is working better here. Still though, 27 isn't that much. So yeah, the real, the real benefit of this just seems to be the fact that it's like a massive AOE. Together, that's a lot of damage. I don't know. I mean, it worked a little better there. We got like 2200 damage out of it, which is closer to what it should be. But still, man, I don't know. I'm not sure. I think I'll just, I'll, you know what, I'll keep it on for an episode, we'll try it, and um, I'll get a better feel for it, but initial impressions are it's not that good. So anyway, after murdering uh, Big Boy there, let's, um, let's get some points in here. Um, I am going to head to a Did You, let's finish off the Profane Capital. Stuff.
Not that worried about whatever's down there. We got a, wasn't there like a jump? It was like a jump, like you need to like jump from the roof into the window or some shit. An original thing, I guess. Profane flame. Oh, hi. So basically, this is just a... <clears throat> it's just a ginormous AoE. We're looking at 522. If I put this up first, and then I cast it. Alright, so I just killed enemies I couldn't even see. God, I just wanted to cast my spell. second and uh okay just that people showing up at the house I don't know. I mean, doubling them up is kind of okay. I did like that the range on it is absurd enough that... Hang on a second. Let me go... Um, I want to say this is like how you leave. But, but based on what I'm seeing here... Um, so big takeaways here are damage is... It's respectable. Uh, the AoE seems to be the big strength. It also seems that some things are a lot more resistant to it than others. Which, the fact that it's supposed to be the... The miasma of, uh, Grave Lord Nido. I feel like it probably... Could have, like, just murdered everything, you know? But, I do think it's really good if I want to farm up things. You know, like, oh, I need to get some of my, my relics. Just, you know, come in here, cast my asthma a few times. I'm 
never did find the key that opens up like half of these jails. Like other I wonder like a good area to really test this would be the um I think it was the Ringed City DLC with that swamp. That long ass swamp where you fight the like corrupted version of the old Dragon Slayer armor. That would be pretty badass. Like go there. Where it's just like enemies as far as the eye can see throw that out and see if it just decides everything dies because that could be an actual benefit here like if we're able to do super super insane range if i'm fighting something <clears throat> actually most of the dlcs have have uh like really large areas now that i'm thinking about it that would really fit the mark get up on that thing like right here let's see will it, will it blanket the land and kill the stuff that I can't even see but it gets you what about the guy over there though garden over here. Forbidden Geomancy Tome. Oh shit. Fight them. Prove your worth. Like being able to use it like this is kind of just cheesy. Anything else down there? I'm gonna take a look now that I'm not being swarmed by grabbies anymore. here. It's those ladies in the geomancy. No. Alright, um, let's go. I mean, it doesn't matter. I need to go. I'm trying to think where I need to go exactly. I want to get to that labyrinth thing. Um, Mm 
not wait is that the one no yes hang on I need to get like back towards the back towards the uh the like the entrance to this place this is the roof yeah I thought so I was like, that's not right. That's not what I need. I need to go up and out. That was the best way, I think, to get back down here. Um, yeah, then I just round this corner and I'll be at the lab thing that I wanted. There's some stuff that way, but I'm not terribly concerned about it. Just like a couple of odd loots here and there. Go. Prove your worth over my previous summon. Or wander and be useless. Yeah, I was I was expecting a lot more for Dark Wraith, and so far he has just been like Mr. Disappointment. Alright, so the trick to solving any labyrinth is you keep your hand along the rightmost wall. Go through it. sorts of surprises in here for me. Yeah, see, this is where my asthma shines. Enemies hidden all over the labyrinth. Doesn't matter if they've all died. labyrinth strategy to explore for more loot.
Oh, bro, this goes deep. Shit, hang on. Alright, we're gonna just leave a literal breadcrumb trail to get back to where we were. This place is confusing. I'm just, I'm doing exactly what you're supposed to not do in a labyrinth, which is just running as fast as I can now. But you know what? It's somehow getting me to loot, so... will just mark anywhere that I've been. If there's a glowy, I've been down that route. Oh shit, this is the middle of it. Plunge, you won't die. Like, I'm gonna trust something I leave on the ground. No, I'm kidding. I, I, I would trust it. It's a mod thing. Come, Dark Wraith. Show us your worth. Not to assist him. I casted my two spells. He needs to win this on his own. I'm gonna look around, see what's down here while he's taking care of that. I think it's just this door. Oh, which probably opens after the gargoyle dies. Oh my god, is he actually gonna lose this? Well, oh, that was remarkably close. That's where you get the jailer's key ring from. I just saw like a light pop up as I pass by. And then I go this way to get to Yorm. That's so that's actually pretty cool. That's that's pretty damn cool. Um I'm gonna go back and <clears throat> I'm not gonna get everything, but there is like that one door that I wanna get. Hey there, baby. Why how did you get in here? The baby, I'm pretty sure the baby just crawled under the baby gate to come into my room. Crawl under the baby gate? Yes. Oh my god, you little shit. 
Hang on, hang on, y'all. Alright, we're gonna, okay, I'm gonna do this while holding a baby. Ugh, do you wanna see, do you wanna see the baby? I don't usually do baby on episodes, hang on. I don't even know if the camera's set up for, see what happens when I... Boom, 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 boom. Filters. Huh. I don't know, for some reason that's not even... Mm. Oh well. Here, I'll go to the stream setup. No, the camera's not working at all. I'll have to reboot it. Oh well. Anyway. Uh, he ought to figure that out so that the next time he uh, he comes in, we can do a surprise guest. But yeah, so we got these um, we got these baby gates that you suspend them on the wall, uh, mainly for the fact that you know we have cats, and if the cat needs to go to the litter box, especially the fatter cat, we can't have her to just stuck you know howling at a baby gate. I want her to be able to just go and do her thing. So, the baby gates, there's like, I don't know, maybe like a, a six inch gap, maybe an eight inch gap on the bottom. And the baby, after watching the cats, has figured out that he can crawl underneath these things to, uh, to basically escape and go where he wants. So, that's nice, you know, fun with parenting. Some bullshit here. Here, you can drop down and have fun. Good. So I am at what on my thingies? I am at seven. That's not nearly enough. I need 15 to get that new spell that I want. Uh, but that's basically it. I wanted to come here and grab those ashes. So with that done. I was hoping that, you know, all these things die. I'd have some like rapid fire uh, Grave Lord relics start popping up, but. He's not bad, but he's not the most effective. I do like that he has a block. Blocks are, are universally good. Uh, so with that, I feel like this area, we've, we've done enough exploring there. Um, yeah, let's go uh, Irithyll. Irithyll's on deck. So uh, looking at the time, we're going to wrap this up. I want to I'm gonna figure out why I couldn't get the camera up. I was hoping to show y'all baby. But either way, I will catch y'all next time with more.